this is Frank. I'm going to do a little thing about uh, fuel adapters, uh, fuel line connectors and adapters. It'd uh, show you how some of them work real quick. What I've got here is uh, what they call a uh, push on EFI fitting. All right, so this one can uh, be used to make a push on connection. Okay. And uh, it has a 6AN flare on one end that you can connect any 6AN hose end to it, 6AN flare, tighten it down, it's secure. Now, this is not really what this is about, but uh, what I wanted to show you is uh, this other thing, which is a uh, push-on EFI adapter, it's called, all right? And this one is for use with uh, factory type um, fuel rails okay so the way this works is let's just suppose that this was the factory fuel rail this fits right on over the end over the flange this squeezes right on okay and then it is secured by simply twisting you can see that tightening it down this thing is now secure. So if this were your fuel rail, your factory fuel rail, you could now take a 6AN flare, hose end, and just like screw it on. All right, now, okay, you have your connection for your fuel rail. Now, huh, this is all pretty standard stuff, and it's really not the reason that I'm doing this video. The reason I'm doing this video is that we have a special situation with the 2GR fuel rail. This is a 2GR fuel rail, okay? If you look, you see that the fuel rail has two flanges, all right? And it also has this square cutout right here. Okay, now this gives rise to a little problem. Okay, the little problem is that if we take, if we want to adapt this quick EFI connector to the 2GR fuel rail, okay. This part here pushes on just fine, or I'd be able to push it on just fine. However, when I go to put the locking bit on, all right, this second flange here interferes. There is no way to push this on. Okay, so now, so there is no way, therefore, to lock this bit onto the flange because the second flange interferes with the locking bit all right and that's a problem now what you can do and i've done this actually just for testing is grind down this section of the lock grind it down to get it thin enough so that it'll slide in front of this flange right here all right now however when you do that this thing becomes so thin is basically paper thin so it's useless okay and that's the reason why this quick EFI adapter does not work with the stock 2GR fuel rail and that's why I made this video just to show you